Thanks for staying with us. The death of veteran struggle lawyer George Bezos has left many heartbroken. Now, this includes the scores of struggle families he represented over the decades and top legal practitioners that he coached and also inspired. Indeed, Vuyom Voko spoke to some of them to reflect on the man. Though George Bezos joined the Johannesburg Bar nine years earlier and represented numerous people in that time, his most famous moment would be the 1963-64 Rivonia trial. South Africa's most renowned trial would end in the conviction and life imprisonment of Elias Mutswaledi, Andrew Mlangeni, Dennis Goldbeck, Ahmed Katrada, Raymond Mshaba, Govan Beki, Walter Sisulu and Nelson Mandela. We were not just a friend of my grandfather who defended him, the Ravona trialist. You were also a friend of the family. You were a friend, you were uncle to our aunts and to us as well. We'll forever miss you. Your warmth, your smile. Rest in peace, Uncle George, rest in peace. Generations of leaders who would take over from where the Mandela's left off would still rely on Bezos' sharp and beautiful mind as he turned courtrooms into anti-apartheid struggle battlegrounds. When he couldn't save activists from being killed or imprisoned, his unwavering commitment to justice saw him using subsequent inquests as well as commissions to try and get to the bottom of piles of lies all to expose the deceit behind the torture, disappearances and deaths of so many freedom fighters. This was true for the Bikos, the Hanis, the Timors and the Craddock Four. He was a friend not just to us but to the families of the Goniwes, the Mthalis and to the Mkontos. He uh, of course represented our mothers at the second inquest into the murders of the Craddock Four uh, between 1993 and 1994. And then he was also the family's lawyer at the TRC starting from 1996. I spoke to my mother a little bit earlier on today and she was devastated. Forever resolute in his beliefs, he bought no faces and carried no favors, including when in 1989, United Democratic Front leaders disowned one of their own, Winnie Mandela, in connection with, among others, the kidnapping of young activist Stompy Sepe. In his memoirs, Bezos says, I thought it wrong for some of my friends to declare that anyone was not worthy of being defended by a lawyer of their choice. We had to put on whatever and get into the mud and, 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 and make sure that we we come to her support. She wasn't popular with the regime and, and somehow she'd run into trouble with, with the UDF elite and, um, or leadership at the time. And when in 2012, police mowed down 34 miners in one of the most brutal acts by post-apartheid security forces, Bezos was there again. My last case with George was as his junior in the Marigana Commission of Inquiry. He was very sad about Marigana. He was very sad about the brutality of the uh, behavior of the police. And I think he was sad because these were post-apartheid police. That brought him a lot of sadness. William Voko, Johannesburg.